Good morning. Welcome to a Friday. Let's start with this winter storm warning going on in through Lemhi County. These areas shaded in blue all the way through Montana. We're talking 7,000 feet and above, expecting two to eight inches of new snow when it's all said and done by Sunday morning. So if you plan on driving through these areas, especially the upper elevations, past travel like Lost Trail Pass or Galena Summit, yeah, you might want to hold off on that. Lake Wind Advisory, this is for mainly for the Aberdeen uh, into the American Falls Reservoir, Aberdeen and American Falls. We're looking for winds 25 miles per hour, gusts 40 miles per hour, making some rough chop for today. 53 Pocatello right now, clear skies, light winds in through Idaho Falls, 45 degrees, clear skies, six mile per hour winds. That takes you down to about 42 for feels like temperature. We have 50s right now in through in town and through Pocatello, Blackfoot, 45 Idaho Falls, 46 Rexburg in the 30s for Jackson, 20s for Afton, 30s through Montpelier. Twin Falls, 53 degrees right now as we take a look at those wind speeds, single digit wind speeds up and down the Snake River Plain, stretching all the way from Rexburg down the I-15 corridor in through Downey. But those winds will pick up today. Here's a look at our storm tracker radar. Not much here in eastern Idaho right now. That band of clouds have moved on. But this is the system that's <laughs> trucking on in. Yeah, it's going to be moving into our area. It's going to bring us cloudy conditions. It's going to make those winds pick up for today. So we'll start off the day with some sunshine. As you can see, warmer temperatures right now than what we had yesterday. But we will be up to the upper 60s, mid 60s for our highs today. And winds picking up after lunchtime today. Mostly cloudy through the highlands in western Wyoming. Upper 50s for Jackson, 60s for Afton, Driggs, Soda Springs, 56 for High and Island Park today. And then cloudy skies through the Central Mountains with our highs in the mid to upper 50s for Ledore and Stanley. Salmon and Chalice, 60s, low 60s is where we'll be for our highs. Then the rain comes in starting about 1 o'clock, 2 o'clock in the morning is when you can start getting those chances of rain showers. And it's going to last for a good 12, 13 hours with day, our overnight lows in the 40s. Stanley, 37 for a low. Into the highlands in western Wyoming also with the overnight rain showers with lows in the 30s for Jackson, low 40s for Afton, Yellowstone, Island Park, Driggs, Soda Springs, 45 for a low. And rain showers into the Snake River Plain as well. We're looking for 40s for overnight lows for Pocatello and Idaho Falls, 50 for Rexburg, Blackfoot, American Falls, 49 for St. Anthony. Here's a look at our Southeast Idaho Chevy Dealer's seven day forecast rain for Saturday. We might get a break of the rain after lunchtime, but then chance of rain snow mix for Sunday through Pocatello going from the 50s tomorrow for a high, 40 for the high on Sunday, staying in the 40s for the work week next week. Blackfoot also with the rain showers tomorrow, 50 for the high, mid 40s for the high on Sunday with a chance of rain snow mix and those overnight lows getting below freezing and staying below freezing for the next week or so. Idaho Falls rain showers on Saturday, rain snow mix on Sunday, then again on Wednesday, kind of a break from that on Monday and Tuesday, but still cold upper 40s, mid 40s for our daytime highs with lows below freezing. Rexburg, rain showers tomorrow, chance of snow on Sunday, rain snow mix on Wednesday. Highs going from the 50s tomorrow to the low to middle 40s for those daytime highs. Teton area also with the rain showers, 43, chance of snow Sunday, Tuesday and Wednesday with highs in the 30s and 40s, lows in the teens to low 20s. Central mountains with the rain showers tomorrow, cloudy skies for Sunday, daytime highs in the 40s and a chance of rain snow mix coming up next Wednesday. Deanne?